Departemen Teknik Fakultas Lokasi Unair menyediakan prodi D3 Otomasi Sistem Instrumentasi, D3 Sistem Informasi, D3 Perpustaka. Semua program studi telah memiliki akreditasi Badan Akreditasi Nasional Perguruan Tinggi atau Lembaga Akreditasi Mandiri Pendidikan Tinggi Kesehatan Indonesia dengan 13 program studi akreditasi A dan 8 program studi akreditasi B. Selamat datang di Fakultas Vokasi Universitas Nelangga. Fakultas yang ke-14 di Universitas Nelangga yang berkomitmen mencetak generasi terampil di bidang kesehatan, bisnis, dan teknik. Untuk mencetak tenaga kerja yang terampil di bidang kesehatan, bisnis, dan teknik tersebut, Fakultas Vokasi membuat suatu kurikulum di mana kurikulum semua program studi adalah 40% teori, 60% praktek. Praktek banyak dilakukan di berbagai industri yang ada di Indonesia, bahkan di luar negeri. Dengan praktek yang di berbagai macam industri, dunia kerja, dan dunia usaha, ini akan menunjukkan bahwasanya mahasiswa fakultas vokasi nanti benar-benar mempunyai pengalaman, mempunyai kompetensi yang langsung dimiliki karena mereka langsung ada di dunia kerja dan industri. Di sisi yang lain, fakultas vokasi mengadakan berbagai macam tempat, berbagai macam sarana-prasarana yang ada di Universitas Erlangga. Sarana-prasarana itu diantaranya adalah ada rumah sakit Universitas Erlangga, ada Institut Tropical Disease, ada berbagai macam seperti gedung kuliah bersama yang ada di kampus A, ada di kampus B, maupun ada di kampus C. Semuanya ini adalah upaya untuk menunjang, untuk membuat fakultas vokasi dalam mencetak generasi tenaga kerja yang terampil untuk di masyarakat. Fakultas vokasi berada di kampus B Unair dengan menyediakan sarana untuk kelancaran proses pendidikan. Laboratorium terpadu. Laboratorium ini menyediakan laboratorium perkantoran, laboratorium retail, laboratorium perbankan, dan laboratorium robotika. Ada juga laboratorium komputer, ruang dosen, ruang pertemuan, serta sarana pendukung seperti perpustakaan, lembaga penyakit tropik, laboratorium stem cell. Tidak heran kalau dukungan dalam pendidikan yang baik menciptakan keragaman capaian bagi mahasiswa dan dosen. Karya kolaborasi antar peneliti menghasilkan dental laser biomodulasi, alat elektrostimulator dalam terapi akupunktur. Kreativitas mahasiswa terasa dengan menghasilkan prototipe robotika di bidang sistem informasi, bidang bisnis, dan kesehatan. Dalam praktik penyelenggaraan pendidikan yang bermutu, Fakultas Vokasi kini menjalin komitmen bersama puluhan lembaga, industri, perguruan tinggi, dan pemerintahan yang menciptakan sinergi dalam mencapai tujuan ilmu pengetahuan dan keterampilan. Menggo Vokasi. Vokasi kuat. Menguatkan. Ingin cepat bekerja, kuliahlah di Fakultas Vokasi. Fakultas Vokasi Universitas Erlangga merupakan fakultas ke-14 di Universitas Erlangga sebagai perwujudan untuk menyelenggarakan pendidikan tinggi jenis pendidikan akademik, profesi, dan vokasi. Pendidikan vokasi menyiapkan mahasiswa menjadi profesional dengan keterampilan kemampuan kerja yang tinggi. Vokasi Unair hadir dalam sejumlah departemen, di antaranya Departemen Kesehatan, meliputi D3 Teknik Gigi, D3 pengobat tradisional, D3 paramedik veteriner, D3 teknologi laboratorium medis, D3 keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, D3 keperawatan, D4 pengobat tradisional, D4 fisioterapi, dan D4 teknologi radiologi pencitraan. 
Sementara di Departemen Bisnis, Vokasi menyediakan program studi D3 Akuntansi, D3 Bahasa Inggris, D3 Kepariwisataan Bina Wisata, D3 Manajemen Pemasaran, D3 Manajemen Perbankan, D3 Manajemen Perhotelan, D3 Administrasi Perkantoran, D3 Perpajakan. Dan terakhir di Departemen Teknik, Fakultas Vokasi UNAIR menyediakan prodi D3 Otomasi Sistem Instrumentasi, D3 Sistem Informasi, D3 Perpustaka. Semua program studi telah memiliki akreditasi Badan Akreditasi Nasional Perguruan Tinggi atau Lembaga Akreditasi Mandiri Pendidikan Tinggi Kesehatan Indonesia dengan 13 program studi akreditasi A dan 8 program studi akreditasi B. Selamat datang di Fakultas Vokasi Universitas Nelangga. Fakultas yang ke-14 di Universitas Nelangga yang berkomitmen mencetak generasi terampil di bidang kesehatan, bisnis, dan teknik. Untuk mencetak tenaga kerja yang terampil di bidang kesehatan, bisnis, dan teknik tersebut, Fakultas Vokasi membuat suatu kurikulum di mana kurikulum semua program studi adalah 40% teori, 60% praktek. Praktek banyak dilakukan di berbagai industri yang ada di Indonesia, bahkan di luar negeri. Dengan praktek yang di berbagai macam industri, dunia kerja, dan dunia usaha, ini akan menunjukkan bahwasanya mahasiswa fakultas lokasi nanti benar-benar mempunyai pengalaman, mempunyai kompetensi yang langsung dimiliki karena mereka langsung ada di dunia kerja dan industri. Di sisi yang lain, Fakultas Vokasi mengadakan berbagai macam tempat, berbagai macam sarana-prasarana yang ada di Universitas Erlangga. Sarana-prasarana itu diantaranya adalah ada rumah sakit Universitas Erlangga, ada Institut Tropical Disease, ada berbagai macam seperti gedung kuliah bersama yang ada di kampus A, ada di kampus B, maupun ada di kampus C. Semuanya ini adalah upaya untuk menunjang, untuk membuat fakultas vokasi dalam mencetak generasi tenaga kerja yang terampil untuk di masyarakat. Fakultas vokasi berada di kampus B Unair dengan menyediakan sarana untuk kelancaran proses pendidikan. Laboratorium terpadu. Laboratorium ini menyediakan laboratorium perkantoran, laboratorium retail, laboratorium perbankan, dan laboratorium robotika. Ada juga laboratorium komputer, ruang dosen, ruang pertemuan, serta sarana pendukung seperti perpustakaan, lembaga penyakit tropik, laboratorium stem cell. Tidak heran kalau dukungan dalam pendidikan yang baik menciptakan keragaman capaian bagi mahasiswa dan dosen. Karya kolaborasi antar peneliti menghasilkan dento laser biomodulasi alat elektrostimulator dalam terapi akupunktur. Kreativitas mahasiswa terasa dengan menghasilkan prototipe robotika di bidang sistem informasi, bidang bisnis, dan kesehatan. Dalam praktik penyelenggaraan pendidikan yang bermutu, Fakultas Vokasi kini menjalin komitmen bersama puluhan lembaga, industri, perguruan tinggi, dan pemerintahan yang menciptakan sinergi dalam mencapai tujuan ilmu.
for all participants, please take a look and kindly follow the standard operating procedures that is showed on screen. First, this webinar will be held online via Zoom and YouTube streaming at 4th, 11th, and 18th June 2022. 30 minutes before the webinar start, our team will send invitation link and virtual background that you should use via line group. And the third, we will open gate at 7.30 and all the participants should change their display name with this format, name underscore institution. All participants should turn off the audio, turn on the camera and use virtual background. Also, we will open gate 30 minutes early before the webinar starts. Don't make a noise and do, and do not spam messages at Zoom. All participants should respect to each other. Don't turn audio while the speaker delivers speech. Participants should active and turn on the audio in the Q&A sessions. You can also write the questions at chat section or raise your hand. Please use polite and neat clothing. And to get a certificate, you should be following our webinar series at 4, 11, and 18 June 2022. And last but not least, write your name on pinyin style. Don't use hanchi at Zoom. I'm sorry, don't use hanchi at Zoom meetings. Thank you. Okay, so for all participants, please do take a look and kindly follow the standard operating procedures that is showed on screen. And thank you so much for your attention. Okay, so may I have your attention, please? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Hajia Hao. Welcome to today's workshop, which is the day two of Hefordu. Ready to inform and educate about Indonesian traditional beauty care using herbs. I am so very pleased to inform you that today we are going to learn how to refresh our minds and souls with Japanese traditional treatment. My name is Aprela Audrey, and I am more than honored to be given the opportunity to be the master of ceremony in this wonderful event. I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. The Honorable Vice Dean of Vocational Faculty, Universitas Erlanga, Traditional Medicine Study Program Coordinators, Invited Speakers, Moderators, Lecturers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us.
Allow me to first and foremost to inform you of today's program. We are going to start with Indonesian national anthem and hymn Airlangga, followed by introducing the speakers of today's workshop. And the main agenda of this workshop sessions is divided into two workshop sessions. And then it will be hosted by our moderator. The Q&A segment will be included in every session. This workshop can also be accessed through our YouTube channel, Batra Unir. Okay, so I would like to remind you to kindly mute the microphone and we would really appreciate an active web camera. And to begin this agenda, we are going to have Indonesian national anthem and followed by him, Airlangga. So, ladies and gentlemen, please be prepared as we are going to have Indonesian national anthem and him, Airlangga.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the main agenda of this event. From now on, the workshop will be hosted by the moderator. Both sessions of this workshop will be hosted by Mrs. Mirna Adianti, Bachelor of Science, Master of Health. Before we start our, our first session, allow me briefly to introduce our moderator. Without further ado, I would like to kindly invite Mrs. Mirna Adianti. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mrs. Mirna. Mrs. Mirna Adianti graduated from Universitas Airlangga, Faculty of Science and Technology with the major of biology. She then continued her study in basic microbiology. In 2010, Mrs. Mirna took her PhD degree in medical science at Kobe University, Japan. And then she worked as a researcher in Institute of Tropical Diseases, Universitas Airlangga. Mrs. Mirna has published several scientific journals, mainly related to herbal medicine related to infectious diseases, especially on hepatitis C virus. Moreover, in 2015, Mrs. Mirna became a permanent non-civil lecturer at Faculty of Vocational Study, Traditional Medicine Study Program. She also received several trainings on traditional messages, as well as foreign messages therapist and held some international certification. All right, that's the short profile of Mrs. Mirna. To Mrs. Mirna, the time and place is yours. Okay, thank you, Miss Aprilia Audrey. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the second days of before do. Uh, uh, as Ms. Uh, Master of Ceremony introduced, my name is Mirna. Uh, today I will be your today I will be your uh, moderator for workshop of uh, Refordu. Ready to uh, ready to inform and educate about uh, herb and beauty care using traditional herb and using beauty care using herb. Okay, so today's uh, speaker, today's, uh, we have two speakers. Uh, the first speaker is uh, Mrs. Siti Mudaliana. She's from uh, Materia Medica Batu. I'm sure she's already here. Uh, Mrs. Siti Mudaliana. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Bu, bu sitting eh? uh, I maybe uh, actually uh, every day in Indonesia we call uh, Mrs. with Ibu, Ibu eh? Jadi uh, we call Mrs. Siti is from Materia Medica Batu. Let me briefly share the short curriculum vitae. Maybe operator can share the curriculum vitae. Okay, so Mrs. Siti Mudaliana, Mrs. Siti Mudaliana is from Materia Medica Batu. Uh, her personal information, uh, she's working in Materia Medica Batu, uh, Kota Batu, Batu City East Java, Indonesia. Her uh, educational background is that she's completed her Master of Science Education in 2010. Uh, her major is in, on animal breeding and genetics. Uh, oh, she received Erasmus Mundus program at Severing uh, um, how, how to pronounce that, Miss City? Severing Erasmus Mundus. Okay, yeah, in Sweden. Okay, yeah. in, Sweden. <laughs> in Sweden. And then she continue. In Germany, in 2010-2010, she finished her bachelor degree in science with main project uh, and work skill covered at 
the School of Life Science and Technology uh, Institute Teknologi Bandung ITB ini. ITB. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so uh, her work experience is that she's been a researcher in UPT Laboratorium Herbal Materia Medica Batu since 2004 until now. Uh, she also held the position of a research assistant in Ekman University in Ekman Institute for Molecular Biology from 2011 until 2013 uh, and then she held the position as the QC quality control on microbiologist at PT Esko Bintang Indonesia yeah, from 2008 and 2000, uh, February until May 2008 so Based on the work experience, uh, we can assume that Mrs. Miss Siti is already an expert in our herbal and sci about herbal research. Her uh, publication, maybe uh, scroll down again, operator. Oh, on it. Okay. Uh, she worked in bit also. Okay. Uh, so that's the brief. Uh, CV from Miss Siti Mudaliana uh, and I believe for today's uh, webinar Miss Siti will explain about uh, oil yeah about hair yes. oil hair oil about hair oil and uh, maybe without uh, further ado I can uh, give the time to Miss Siti Mudaliana please Oke, okay, thank you Bu Mirna. Uh, let me share screen first. Oke, okay, uh, thank you Bu Mirna for the uh, brief introduction. So, uh, actually I'm not a uh, expert yet in uh, herbs, but I'm uh, still learning. So, uh, If uh, any anything, any question I can answer uh, later, uh, I will make it as my homework and I will uh, answer later. Okay, uh, so today uh, I would like to uh, give like a small talk about uh, cem ceman or natural hair oil. In Java, we call it uh, cem ceman. So it's kind of a hair oil or hair lotion, but uh, mainly consists of natural ingredients. So let's start it. Uh, let's start with uh, about a uh, hair. So our hair is mainly consists of keratin. Keratin is uh, a kind of protein. So about uh, 95% is keratin and the rest is uh, fiber and any other protein. Uh, most of those protein uh, built by 18 amino acids, but for keratin, it's mostly uh, from cysteine. It's a specific amino acid that uh, has disulfide bond, so it's make our hair uh, rigid. So uh, we face uh, some problem with uh, our hairs or scalps mainly is hair loss. If uh, we lost our hair more than uh, 100 strands per day, so we can say that we have a problem with our hair, uh, which is hair loss. Uh, the uh, other problem is infection, like uh, from bacteria or from fungal or from uh, any small insect like lice. Uh, uh, so, uh, We face a lot problem with our hair. We, if he, if we uh, don't give like a uh, proper uh, treatment for our hairs, so uh, one most common problem is hair loss, and it's experienced by both between men and women. So uh, to overcome the problem related to hair loss, uh, we usually use a uh, two product. Uh, it can be natural or synthetic. The synthetic product we use usually lead to some uh, problem like irritation 
or skin allergies. So uh, we propose to use a, non, a more natural product like uh, herbs or uh, only use oil. But uh, today I would like to tell you about uh, our common knowledge or uh, what to say, uh, empiric knowledge uh, called chum chuman oil or natural hair oil. So uh, what is natural hair oil? Hair oil or chum chuman oil, uh, natural hair oil or chum chuman oil is a type of, of hair oil made from uh, natural combined with herbs. Uh, usually uh, chum chuman used to uh, use for uh, growing or hair, uh, mainly uh, related to uh, hair loss. So we can say it's kind of tonics, hair tonics. Uh, usually a uh, hair oils is contained from, uh, natural hair oils contained from vegetable oils uh, and herbs. So uh, for vegetable oils, we can say it, uh, it uh, act as a uh, carrier oil. So uh, for example, uh, we usually use as carry oil is coconut oil is uh, come from coconut. We uh, produce it from coconut or cocos musifera. Uh, it can moisturize uh, our scalp and hair. It also contains lauric acid, uh, which uh, can prevent protein loss. So make our hair uh, shiny or to uh, maintain keratin or any protein any other proteins of our hairs. Uh, and also uh, can protect uh, our hair from uh, any other uh, damage like UV or oxidant. Also uh, can su suppress the growth of dandruff and lice. Uh, the second one is sunflower seed oil. Uh, it can uh, reduce uh, hair loss also uh, can stimulate hair growth and uh, can act as moisturizer. Uh, it also contains vitamin A, uh, oleic, oleic acid and linoleic acid, which is good for uh, the health of our hair. Uh, the next one is avocado oil. It's extracted for uh, the seed. Uh, avocado or perse americana it can nourish our hair to rising uh, it's also contain collagen so uh, maintain the youth of our hair uh, also good for uh, maintain our hair elasticity and shining uh, so uh, for sample it's always a, uh, some people have a problem with uh, uh, hair handle or damage uh, related to treatment like firming or coloring. So this avocado uh, to maintain uh, our uh, health. So uh, it contains antioxidant to prevent uh, the bad effect or uh, oxidant. Uh, the next one is uh, rice bran oil. It's contains omega-3, 6, and fatty acid, uh, which is good for uh, stimulating hair growth, also to prevent hair loss and hair damage. Uh, also uh, give a protection uh, against UV and uh, prevent our hair become frizzy. If we have a uh, frizzy hair, it's uh, most likely uh, difficult to, to maintain like a beauty of the hair. Uh, is that a uh, carrier oil? Or which is uh, mainly from uh, vegetable oil. We also have herbs that is that's are good for hair, uh, like celery or avium graveolens. Uh, it's one of uh, spices we usually use to cook some food. Uh, but it, if we use it to treat our hair, it uh, gives some benefits like to strengthen uh, hair roots, so prevent uh, hair loss. It's also nourish our hair and make it um, more health, um, make it healthier, and also uh, can maintain a natural hair color. If you have uh, black color hair, it or red or whatever, uh, it uh, will look uh, shinier. Uh, it also uh, contain 
many natrium, potassium, and iron, which is uh, can prevent uh, the growth of gray hair. So it's uh, related to uh, maintain uh, natural hair color. It also uh, suppress the growth of dandruff. Uh, the next one, the herbs uh, which usually use to hair treatment is kamiri uh, or candle nuts. Uh, its uh, Latin name is Alaric Molucanus. Uh, it also makes our hair shiny, uh, prevent dryness, and also stimulating hair growth. Uh, it also can strengthen uh, hair soft and prevent dandruff and protect uh, our hair from UV damage. Uh, the next one is a uh, lime peel. Uh, it's from plant uh, citrus estrix. Uh, it, supports, uh, it supports uh, follicle health, so make uh, our health uh, healthier and also prevents uh, hair loss and then dandruffs. Uh, also, moisten scalps. Uh, sometimes dry scalps it uh, it leads to uh, the growth of dandruff. So it's good to maintain uh, our scalp uh, become moistened. Uh, it also uh, can maintain a uh, hair shine. The next one is a uh, plum aralia. Uh, I think it's uh, rare to grow in several areas, but in our areas, it's common to find uh, this plant uh, everywhere. Uh, we call it a mango an. Uh, it's a uh, sherb which uh, can grow anywhere in our place here in Kota Batu. Uh, it can, uh, we uh, use this uh, plant to uh, prevent hair loss, also to stimulate hair growth, and it can act as antibacteria, so to prevent uh, some problem related to uh, infection in our, uh, on our scalps. It also give uh, the relaxation effects due to its aroma. Uh, we use uh, the part of this plant is uh, the leaves. And the next one is pandan. Pandan, we know this plant uh, give like uh, so good smells or good aroma. Uh, it also give a uh, relaxation effect. Uh, it also can act as antifungal, so prevent uh, the growth of dandruff. Also reduce uh, itching on the scalp and prevent hair loss and makes our uh, her or hair shiny. Uh, the next one is uh, rosemary. Rosemary, it, I think it's common to find it uh, everywhere. Uh, it's like kind of cosmophilic uh, plants. It can grow uh, everywhere in this world. Uh, it, uh, actually, it has a good effect for our hair. It can uh, stimulate hair growth, also uh, nourish uh, our scalp and follicle. Uh, of the hair. Uh, it's also um, has uh, antioxidant activity, which is uh, can encounter the free radicals. Uh, due to its uh, essential oil uh, constituent, it can also give a relax relaxation effect. So uh, how to uh, formulate our uh, natural hair oil or chemchuman oil? It's uh, we uh, have to look at uh, three effects, three aspects. Like for whom we will use? Uh, it depends on the age or hair type. Some people have like uh, healthier uh, hair type, or some people have like uh, less healthier. So uh, we have to uh, consider that uh, aspect to formulate uh, our natural uh, hair oil. And the second one is therapeutic effect. So our uh, natural hair oil or chumchuman, it can be used to, to prevent uh, dandruff or to uh, overcome the hair loss or to make our 
her uh, healthier or uh, her shinier, uh, especially for a uh, damage or the hair. Uh, we also uh, consider uh, about, uh, its organoleptic uh, component, like uh, the color, uh, is it uh, interesting or not, or the aroma the, and the texture. The most, uh, we have to consider to formulate a uh, organoleptic is aroma. If it's good, also we uh, give a like comfortable scent if you use it. And so this is the formula we developed recently. Uh, we developed uh, some formulas uh, for natural hair color. Uh, the first one, uh, we use uh, coconut oil, brand oil, celery, and roasted uh, kemiri or candle nut. So this uh, formula is uh, formulated for uh, adult or uh, mature people. So uh, this uh, this natural hair oil is to maintain a natural hair color. So the first one we mix the carrot oil or a vegetable oil, and uh, in the another uh, storage, in the another container we use a. Uh, uh, we use to a uh, mesh celery and roasted kemiri. Then uh, we mix both uh, the, oil, the oil mix and the mesh uh, herbs here and store them at the uh, room temperature for three days. After three days, we uh, filter the chumchuman oil. Uh, we can use cloth or fabric, or if you have filter paper, you can use it. Uh, then we collect in the closed container for further use. And uh, the second, second recipe or second formula is to reduce uh, hair loss. The carrier oil we use in this formula is uh, our coconut oil, uh, rice bran oil, uh, sunflower seed oil, and avocado oil. Uh, each of them we use, uh, uh, except for coconut oil, we use 25 grams. And the, for uh, coconut oil, we use uh, 75 grams. And we mix them and we put aside uh, this, uh, this oil mix. And the second, in the second container, we uh, mesh and mix uh, these ingredients, like uh, uh, celery. We, we use fresh one, but if you don't have uh, the fresh one, we use, uh, you can use the uh, dried one. Uh, five salts we use in this formula and uh, roasted kemiri, five pieces. And fresh rosemary, we uh, take the leaves only and we put aside the stem. And uh, for plum araria or makokan, uh, we use three grams. Uh, we use the dried one since uh, for the fresh one, it's usually a risk of chlorophyll and give a like a bad odor. And uh, the, la the next one, we use a fresh pandan, only one seed. For a fresh pan uh, the pandan, uh, we use the fresh, not the dried one, since uh, our stock only the fresh one. And uh, the next one uh, is lime peel. We uh, peel from two pieces of lime and we mash them and mix them in another uh, container. Then uh, we mix uh, the oil mix and the herbs mix in a closed container and we store uh, it at the room temperature for three days. After three days, uh, we filter uh, the oils using a cloth or fabric or a filter paper, uh, whatever you have and uh, we collect the oil in the closed container for further use. Uh, the next one is uh, the formula or recipe for uh, kids. So we only use the oil, the vegetable oil without uh, herbs. Since uh, we don't know the effects of the herbs for the kids, so we only uh, produce the mild one only using uh, the vegetable oil, which are coconut oil, 
uh, rice bran oil, sunflower seed oil, and avocado oil. Uh, on, we only mix uh, them in the closed container and store them uh, for three days before use. And how to uh, apply this uh, oil? We only uh, apply a hair oil directly to the scalp and the sap of the hair uh, and leave them for uh, leave it for 30 minutes. Uh, occasionally, uh, within five or 10 minutes, uh, gently massage uh, the scalp. And after 30 minutes, uh, you can wash uh, and rinse your hair until clean using uh, your personal sample. So that's uh, the presentation from me. Uh, feel free if you have any question. I give it back to the moderator. Please, Bu Mirna. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Miss Siti. Uh, I call you Miss Siti or Miss Mau Maulida? Muda, Muda, Liana. Uh, Siti, Siti. Musiti, Musiti. Oke. Okay. Like it oh, Siti. Oh, yeah. Siti. <laughs> Musiti. Yeah. Uh, Musiti, thank you for uh, the very interesting presentation. Very interesting presentation. Uh, can you uh, hear me clearly now? Is there, is there any trouble in the sound? I think it's. Bisa tidak bisa dengar saya? Uh, putus putus bu. Belum belum terdengar. Ah uh, sekarang jelas. Nah sudah oke. Okay. Oke, okay. uh, terima kasih. Itu eh, terima kasih. In English ya bu ya. <laughs> Oke, okay. thank you uh, Bu Siti for very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, so uh, basically for the minyak cem-ceman or hair oil, this is uh, one of the uh, apa uh, traditional uh remedies yeah traditional remedies for indonesia in indonesia we usually use this uh apa? these remedies for uh, hair loss treatment uh now i will ask the audience uh open question or is there any question from the chat box if uh, you want to ask question to bu city Uh, you can directly uh, write in the chat box. Uh, operator, is there any question in the chat box? Yeah. I'm sorry, saya terpental. Belum ada. Okay, if there is, uh, while we waiting for the uh, audience to write a uh, question, Okay, so uh, in hair loss uh, remedies, we use minyak jam jaman. Uh, is this to prevent hair loss or uh, can it be used to uh, uh, apa, to, to we use minyak jam jaman? Uh, is this to prevent hair loss or uh, can it be used to
Halo, tes. Bu Siti, terdengar ya? Oh, ya. Terdengar. ya, mohon maaf ya. Seperti tadi terpental-pental koneksinya. Oke, ini saya pindah ke yang kecil saja. Oke, uh, jadi uh, kalau hair loss apa minyak cemceman kan biasanya dipakai eh uh, usually uh, it's used for hair hair loss treatment. Uh, can it be used also to uh, uh, improve the volume of the hair so to persuade the growth of new hair? Uh, actually, uh, we have like a certain amount of uh, hairs in our body. Like, uh, mm -hmm. if you genetic uh, genetically uh, only have uh, this amount, and uh, sometimes we uh, can see people with like uh, thicker hair we, uh, compared yeah. to the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's most uh, likely due to genetics. Oh, uh, okay. but to maintain a. a good appearance we have to uh, treatment uh, our hairs so like if genetically we have like a good trait with uh, mm -hmm. thick hair and uh, shining hair so if uh, it better to uh, treat it uh, <laughs> carefully oh. so like uh, for men uh, some of them have a problem with pulp it's a uh, due to genetics Mm -hmm. But uh, for uh, for hair loss is uh, most likely uh, due to a stress like from uh, UV exposure or from uh, from perming or from uh, any salon treatment mm -hmm. like coloring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, so uh, uh, hair drying. Hair drying. Okay. So if if we uh, uh did some uh spe apa, special treatment special treatment with our hair like we regularly coloring we regularly perming uh that means that that's the modern side modern treatment conventional treatment for hair uh this gentleman is like the traditional uh side can we like mix it uh, although we already do uh hair spa regularly can we also combine it with uh this cem ceman product uh yes uh, usually we uh take uh like a uh, hair spa is uh once in a month uh but for mm -hmm. a cem ceman we can uh regularly use it before some point. so uh, we apply the uh, natural hair oil uh 30 minutes before some point. and after that we can uh, just rinse it using uh, shampoo so oh, like uh before sampling yeah. so if if we did something like uh twice so uh twice a day or three times a week that means we can use it three times a week uh, it saves basically it saves uh to you uh oh, to use okay, uh, okay. like uh, three weeks uh, three times a week three times but, a week uh, sometimes we don't have time uh time so, yeah yeah uh once mm -hmm uh in a week is sufficient once a week is sufficient okay that's very interesting so uh compared to like salon treatments that uh if we coloring that means like three months uh once in three months or uh hair spa like once a month that don't take it uh too often but for this uh, traditional hair oil we can use it uh safely uh, more frequent than the uh conventional apa or commercial product yeah yes Blue city yes. oh okay that's very interesting so uh i believe there's uh in the audience also especially for uh this generation yeah for this the the young generation they uh usually use a lot of hair product sure. uh, whether it's for yeah. coloring or for uh i think the choice for shampoo also uh, have a great impact for the condition of our hair yeah bu siti yeah yeah mm -mm. Uh, for uh, me uh, mm -mm. i uh, pre prefer to use uh sulfate free sulfate free shampoo mm -hmm. like uh, oh, sulfate it, free uh, yes uh, it doesn't use SLS or slash so mm -hmm. 
for me uh, i use uh, i apply uh, chum chuman this morning and it's mm -hmm. time to uh, wash my hair today oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> i use a natural sampo bar recently i use a natural sampo bar it's uh, without a slash or sls uh, oh, okay. or SLS. so it's um, like saver for uh, the long term mm. for uh, our hair health mm. So that's also uh, one of the trick to uh, 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 to treat your hair to make it more uh, healthy is try to choose uh, the brand that is it so far really uh, uh, what uh, too harsh for the hair or uh, is it a different condition for each person? Yes, it's uh, different from uh, from one person to another. Mm. Okay, so uh, op operator, is there any question in the chat box? Because my chat box is not yet. Okay, uh, so for the audience, if you want to ask a question, you can directly raise your hand or uh, type in, in in the chat uh, box. If you cannot deliver it in English, you can write in Bahasa Indonesia, then I will translate it in, in English. Okay, so uh, how to get this minyak cem ceman, Bu Siti? Do we have to make it ourselves or can we buy it? Uh, for the easier uh, one, we can uh, buy it market like uh, some brand. Oh, okay. They, uh, yes, mm -hmm. they sell uh, the cem ceman oil. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, it's uh, easy to uh, make it uh, at home. So just mm. uh, mix some oil and some herbs uh, with like a kemiri or uh, mm -hmm. celery, which are mm -hmm. usually fa uh, found in the kitchen uh, and mm -hmm. use uh, them as uh, spices. Mm -hmm. uh, so just mash the celery and the kemiri or candle nut Mm -hmm. and uh, mix with some oil if you don't have like uh, I said in my uh, presentation that we can use uh, coconut oil or avocado mm -hmm. oil olive oil or um, sunflower, sunflower seed oil but if, if we don't have uh, those oils at home we can use any kind uh, of oil like palm oil uh, the most mm -hmm. common one we found in the market or in yeah, the uh -huh. kitchen yeah also uh -huh. olive oil uh, mm -hmm and like uh if we have uh soya oil we can use uh any any oil okay. but uh so, i suggest to use coconut oil since it's uh it has uh many benefits for the hair coconut mm -hmm. and olive or palm oil uh which mm -hmm. one uh, you prefer mm -hmm. okay because uh I, I when I saw your uh, slide presentation about avocado oil and uh, avocado oil and sunflower maybe sunflower oil uh, we can uh, see it in the uh, market as a cooking oil but it's more expensive yeah yeah <laughs> okay and then for avocado oil never seen avocado oil in the market in here where can I get avocado oil uh, avocado oil we uh, got them from online shop online shop yeah now yeah. every everything we, we can get everything in online shop <laughs> online shop uh, it, it, avocado oil is from the seed or from the fruit or avocado fruit? oil from the seed oh from the seed yeah. of avocado like, oil oh uh, okay yeah, we so I, I think it's it's quite quite difficult if we want to make it our own yeah because avocado avocado seed is very hard to yeah yeah <laughs> yeah just buy yeah, it in okay. the online shop buy it in the <laughs> online shop <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah uh, uh i think there's a question from Niza from Niza Salsabila. Good morning, Miss. I would like to ask you a question about how do we ensure that the oil is 100% pure essential oil? Ah, uh, yeah. 
Uh, if we buy essential oil from the uh, uh, vendor, we can we have to choose the like trusted one uh, or the authorized one. Usually, they always uh, write the the purity and some uh, essential oil has a uh, it not uh, it no it's not um, like it's not uh, it's not possible to to have hundred percent essential oil uh -uh. for uh, what is it uh, nilam uh -uh. nilam uh, focus demon uh, the essential oil from uh, that nilam is herpia. only uh -huh. yes i forgot uh what the name in english but uh it uh it's uh essential oil only in the rains uh between the uh, 30 and 35 oh yes pat Koli. thank you uh, pat Koli. thank you uh mr pandu yeah the pat Koli <laughs> oils uh if we uh distill it uh Let, the uh, pat coli yeah, uh, use yeah. uh, for yeah. it uh, yeah. essential oil yeah. essential oil yeah. only uh yeah. maximum yeah. get yeah. 20 percent yeah. 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 maybe uh maybe uh, Emphasis on um, its purity, um, like uh, it's like not uh, yeah. like mix or blend with any other any other oil. Hmm. Okay. So we have to so, buy from a trusted uh, vendor. Trusted vendor, yeah, trusted vendor. Uh, is there any? Uh, how long can we uh, store it? How long can we keep it before uh, to safely use it for uh, 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 uh cemen oil? For cem ceman oil, uh, as long as it not uh, rancid or give a uh, bad odor, it's uh, still good to use. Uh, mm, for okay. me, myself usually, uh, I can uh, finish one container, one jar of the cem ceman oil I uh, personally mm. made uh, within uh, one month. One month, okay. Yeah. So as long as it's uh keep it in tight container in good apa, good environment and get not yes. uh mix with water, yeah. I think water will uh, will make the oil uh apa, become bad quicker. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh I hope uh it's uh answering Nisa's question about uh, how to ensure that it's essential oil is pure or not okay so check your vendor check your vendor <laughs> okay uh maybe next question uh not yet okay not yet. uh is someone raising hands yeah hello Oh, the master of ceremony, yeah. Miss April. Yeah, yes, yeah I please. also would like. Yeah, I would also like to ask. Um, personally, I would ask to. I would like to ask a question. Um, in which in which condition of our hair that we shouldn't be using those herbal hair oils? Um, what if we have sensitive hair scalps? Is there certain oils that we can use? Maybe. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, okay. Uh, Miss Aprilia, uh, I try to answer your question. So, if you have a like a problem with a sensitive scalp, uh, the first step you just apply the oil without the herbs. But it's uh, I think it saves if you only put some a kemiri or candle nut if you insist to use herbs. Uh, but for uh, any other uh, herbs, I uh, didn't say. I uh, don't suggest to use them. Uh, the first step, just uh, apply the, the mild oil like coconut oil or olive oil for your hair. Uh, you can uh, mix both oil, uh, get coconut oil and olive oil. Also put some uh, candle nut if you want to use some herbs. 
uh, I think it's safe for a uh, quickly use. Okay, thank you so much for your answer, Ibu Or you can apply uh, uh, if you want to uh, uh, make the natural oil a recipe for kids only using the uh, vegetables, coconut oil, brand oil, uh, sunflower seed oils, and avocado oils. Maybe you can try it once and give us the feedback later, give the testimony. Okay, so the kids recipe is more flexible for sensitive yeah. hair scalps and sensitive hair problems. Yeah. Yes, it's safer. Okay. Thank you so much, Ubu Yes, thank you, welcome. Okay, thank you, Miss Aprila, for the question. So, uh, uh, like, like what uh, Miss Aprila concerned about sensitive uh, scalp and sensitive hair, uh, we can use the uh, the most uh, apa? the most uh, simple, yeah, Miss Siti, yes. yeah. Only, only the the basic basic uh, oil, without any additional herbs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, for for the uh, daun mangkoan, daun mangkoan, I think uh, only uh, from uh, Indonesia, from from Southeast Asia, yeah, tropical uh, tropical uh, area uh, is. There maybe for uh, our audience that come from uh, uh, other continent, like from China, from India, or maybe from uh, Pakistan, that maybe they don't have uh, those uh, type of uh, plants. Uh, is there any other plants that not come from in Indonesia, but maybe uh, more uh, easier to get abroad? Uh, if uh, you don't have mangkoan you can skip uh, that one and uh, mm -hmm. instead using um, rosemary i think it's widely uh, mm -hmm. grown mm -hmm. in, the, in this part uh, we can uh, find it uh, anywhere for rosemary or a uh, lime peel it's same Okay, so rosemary, yeah. rosemary may be uh, more familiar for uh, someone that's not from Indonesia, but for in, in but in Indonesia, I think it's quite uh, uh, foreign herbs, yeah, rosemary. We don't usually use it in uh, our Indonesian uh, cuisine, yeah. Yeah, but we uh, still okay. can find some in the market. Uh -uh. Yeah, now nowadays we can we can get it uh, in the market. Okay, so uh, uh, if we want to make, oh, I'm, I'm interested with all the recipe that you share in your uh, presentation. Uh, so basically it's if we buy the basic oil, the coconut oil or the candle nut oil, I think in, in Indonesia candle nut oil uh, is also uh, uh, easily to find in the market because uh, it was used for children yeah children also yeah. If, if 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 the hair is not growing until they uh, catch certain age uh, the parents usually rub apa, uh, candle nut oil in their head but if we want to uh, make sure it get other benefit we can uh, uh, measure it the candle oil with other herbs with uh, celery or down mangkoan. Is it correct, Miss? Yeah, especially to uh, maintain uh, to maintain natural hair color. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, uh, other uh, good effect like uh, to reduce hair loss. We can mm -hmm. uh, combine uh, those ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
very interesting okay so uh maybe miss uh, mr pandu i believe i see the name oh yeah hello. mr pandu okay hello mr pandu how are you i'm fine today how about you it's good i'm fine thank you okay uh while waiting for the response from the audience maybe i can uh invite uh our two uh speaker today directly just to make sure that the 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 conversation continue yeah we see the mr pandu is, uh, is it okay okay okay, no okay. <laughs> but i will introduce mr pandu later during his session so that's uh, the the special part okay so um I see that Mr. Pandu's hair is very healthy. Did you also use this uh, minyak cem ceman for uh, daily treatment of your hair? Yes. Uh, once a week, I put uh, hair oil uh, to uh, treat my hair. Uh, I make it from um, candle nut oil, a uh, candle nut oil, uh, kenanga hilang hilang oh, and then okay. uh, magnolia atau cempaka and then uh, uh, daun pandan and mangkoan ibu Mirna. so that's quite many uh, herbs that you mix here yeah, mr pan yeah, can, can yeah. you explain uh, what are the benefit of each uh... it's make my hair glossy uh, uh, what can i say can make my hair like uh, shining and then uh, my hair I it can prevent to hair loss and then uh, prevent to dandruff yeah yeah okay yeah Yo, thank you so that there are many benefits yeah with uh, yeah. for each herbs that uh, you use for the uh, hair treatment yeah, yeah. okay uh, miss city is it if we want to make a cem ceman do we have to use the fresh herb or can we use like the dry herbs because like if we want to use rosemary uh, i'm not sure where can i find fresh rosemary i think in the market there's a dried rosemary yeah uh it depends on the stock you have if you have the dried mm -hmm. one it's uh it's okay to use the dried one but uh, oh, for okay. us when uh, we uh, de develop the formula uh, mm -hmm. we only have uh, the fresh one and mm -hmm. some of them we have the dried one so we uh, sometimes just uh, use the dried the dried one and sometimes with the fresh one it's uh, so flexible Oh, okay. So there is no different uh, uh, whether if we use the dried ingredient or the yeah. But the uh, for some cases, fresh. for mm -hmm. uh, for some cases like uh, in the uh, plum aralia or mangkoan, uh, we prefer to use the dried one uh, since the fresh one uh, it has like a, a bad odor like like uh, the the kettle food like a so oh, yeah so, so, so much so the, 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 uh, it, uh, prefer it using like, the uh, the bad order like 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 dry uh, like like uh the leaf of uh, a smell is more strong yeah if we use yeah. the fresh okay and yeah. like uh, okay. for down pandan we uh, prefer mm -hmm. use the fresh one mm. since it gives a, a good smell in our hair mm. and the aroma will uh, like uh, stay uh, longer than the dried one. Oh, okay 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 very interesting so it can be used both whether it's dry or uh, fresh if we use fresh uh, uh, sometimes it will catch uh, other smell, fresh uh, leaf smell. So it depends on the person whether it's, uh, they like the uh, the fresh herb smell or the uh, 
less uh, smelly with the dried ingredient ya Bu Siti ya yeah. yes. hmm. oke okay. okay. that was very interesting thank you very much Bu Siti uh, I think uh, due to the time uh, we will uh, I think we we will have to uh, finish our uh, session for this morning with Bu Siti Mudalia sorry uh, Mudalia. I, I keep mispronouncing Mudaliana I keep mispronouncing your name <laughs> yeah Bu Siti yeah. Mudaliana thank you very much for the very yeah. interesting uh... oh Bu Edit uh, we have one more question from Bu Edit. Okay, uh, the last question, uh, Bu Edit. Bu Edit is also a lecturer in a traditional medicine study program. Bu Edit, please, uh, you can. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning, uh, Mrs. City. Okay. Good morning, uh, hello, Edit. Uh, hello, my idol. Edit. <laughs> And uh, as Ms. Mirna already mentioned, I'm also one of the lecturer in uh, traditional medicine. Actually, I've got two questions. Will that be okay? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, the first one, uh, I believe uh, in, uh, especially in ladies, uh, uh, the more we get our hair longer, then one of the problem may arise is that the uh, split hair, especially at the end of the hair like split hair so uh, which of these uh, herbal remedies uh, hair oil which one is uh, the best uh, rem remedies that can um, be useful to uh, combat this kind of problem the split hair at the end of uh, the hair that's the first question and then the second one as you mentioned earlier uh, one of the benefits of using this hair uh, oil uh, is to make your uh, hair uh, shining. So, uh, because uh, some of the problem also the dull hair. So, perhaps the color uh, still, for example, if a black color or a brown color, the hair are the same. However, it's not shining. So which one, uh, again, the remedies that uh, will be uh, good uh, and will be beneficial to make our hair more shiny. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, uh, Ms. Edith, uh, for the uh, first question. Uh, Actually, the uh, split in the end of a uh, hair herself, it's uh, most likely due to uh, the genetics. So I can say like it's uh, most likely helpless to treat in the mild way. So the best uh, way to uh, treat that problem is uh, to trim the end of your uh, self hair uh, frequently, just a little bit. Uh, maybe uh, one centimeters, uh, one centimeter is enough. So um, for uh, the uh, herbs, we can apply uh, just to prevent the, the split. Uh, we can use uh, the herbs, which is a uh, risk of uh, antioxidant and also rich in any uh, fatty acid like omega acid or lauric acid or uh, oleic acid. Uh, those uh, component are most likely uh, found in the oil I described before, like in the coconut oil or in the avocado mm -hmm. oil. So that's uh, just for mm -hmm. uh, prevention because the split hair mm -hmm. is uh, too, too genetic. So uh, for the uh, uh, second question, this, 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 because if uh, if we have short hair, the split hair doesn't happen. However, the longer the hair that we have, then the split hair happen. Yes, uh, for uh, the the hair growth, there is uh, some phases like the stage, the the middle stage. I forgot the name, but the last. The last one is the telagon 
telogen stage, if I don't mistake. So uh, the telogen stage is the last uh, last stage of uh, our hair growth. So uh, it depends uh, for uh, it depends on the genetics. So some people uh, uh, reach uh, this long, and some some people only in the short hair. It's already reached the telogen phase. So uh, in the telogen phase, uh, the last stage of uh, her, our hair growth, it will uh, develop to uh, hair phase. But not in the, uh, but not um, all people uh, experience uh, this, the problem, this problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, to prevent the split, mm -hmm. uh, we can apply some oils uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, which are uh, rich of uh, fatty acid. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's better to trim uh, to the end of your uh, hair soft frequently. Right. So coconut oil will be good to combat this one. Yes. Right, okay. How about the dull hair? <laughs> oh, uh, for the dull hair, uh, uh, you can, uh, make uh chum chum oil uh we mm -hmm. with uh, coconut oil uh, rice bran oil uh, celery and roasted tomato uh this this formula okay. uh we already tried this uh several months uh it can maintain uh, our natural hair color and make it uh, shinier right okay so i must try that recipe then <laughs> yeah that's true right okay thank you so much mrs city okay. yes you're welcome okay thank you mrs edit for the question yeah that so that's very uh interesting question and hopefully uh it also relate to uh many of us here in the uh, participant about how to treat uh split hair and how to treat uh dull hair using uh jam -jam oil and other uh, type of uh, 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 uh treatment okay so i think we have one last question from nisa again oh nisa i hope your hair will be more uh, beautiful after this uh webinar yeah uh she asking about uh is it safe to use jam -jam oil to people who have oily scalp and problem with dandruff because as far as uh she knows that fungi like oil okay, okay. How, how about okay uh if we apply the chum chum oil, we don't leave it uh, like forever. We have to wash it uh, within 30, 30 minutes. So, uh, and also some herbs we use uh, to make uh, chum chum oil like a lime peel, it can uh, reduce the, the dendrite growth. And also, uh, also has, has uh, like antibacterial and antifungal activity. So just apply it uh, 30 minutes prior to sampling your scalp and your hair. And don't leave it like uh, overnight or for a day, just uh, 30 minutes is enough. Mm. Okay, so that's the trick, yeah. Uh, uh, even uh, for oily scalp and dandruff problem, you still can use jam -jam to treat it, but uh, make sure that it's no longer than 30 minutes. Gitu ya, Bu Siti? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, Nisa, uh, I hope uh, it can help your problem. I'm sure uh, you have a very nice hair after this, uh, free of dandruff and free of oily scalp. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you very much, Miss City. We have reached uh, the end of our session today. So uh, maybe we would like to give uh, applause, a uh, very uh, warm applause for Miss City. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I, I believe uh, um, from the information from the committee that Miss City will uh, play video. Oh, for I the... already uh, shared the link. Uh, 
uh, oh okay and oh yeah okay to, uh, okay play from their uh, devices oh yeah okay okay so now we will uh, see the video how to uh, do how to make a minyak jam jaman jam jaman oil okay komiti <laughs>
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the very uh, interesting uh, video demonstration on how to use, uh, how to make uh, cemceman oil for hair treatment. Okay, uh, nowadays, uh, uh, now we uh, reach our final uh, session, uh, fi fi uh, final session for final time for this session. Uh, thank you very much, Bu Siti. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will meet again in other occasion for uh, in webinar or in seminar offline. Thank you. I will return the session to Master of Ceremony. Okay, thank you so much, Mrs. Mirna, for hosting our first workshop session. And now I will take over this webinar. And I also want to remind the participants, don't forget to fill out the attendance form sent by the committee on the chat box. Uh, they will send it right now. Okay, and please stay with us until the end of this event, because we will remind you again to fill out the attendance form before the event is over. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, before we continue any further, we will have a moment of appreciation with our first speaker, Mrs. Siti Mudaliana. Therefore, I would like to invite Mrs. Edith Frederica Burhito, Bachelor of Community Health and Master of Science, as Coordinator of Student Activity, Faculty of Vocational Study. To Mrs. Edith, the time is yours. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Master of Ceremony. Uh, so, so today we already finished our first session with our speaker, Mrs. Siti from Materia Medica, uh, Batu, is Java. Uh, so we would like to express our gratitude um, to our first speaker. I'm sorry, um, the committee, I think the certificate uh, and yeah, okay, so this is the correct one. I'm sorry, Mrs. Siti. So uh, on behalf of a traditional medicine study program, we would like to express our gratitude uh, to Mrs. Siti uh, as the representative from uh, Materia Medica and becoming our uh, keynote speaker for today's session. And we really hope that in the next future uh, between Materia Medica and also traditional study program, we will have more collaboration uh, and uh, more um, uh, uh, cooperation between our faculty and uh, your uh, institution as well. Thank you so much for your uh, particip 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 uh, participation for today's session, Mrs. City. Uh, once again, um, uh, we hope uh, for our uh, uh, um, future uh, cooperation together. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay. We'll give it back to Master of Ceremony. Okay, thank you so much, Mrs. Edith, and also thank you, uh, Mrs. Siti Mudaliana. And now for all participants, I would like um, to ask you all to please open your camera because we will do a photo session with our first speaker, Mrs. Siti Mudaliana. Okay, so this photo session will be captured by our documentation division through screenshots. Okay. okay, and now let's start with page one and I will count down 
backwards from three to one. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, I think the documentation division is finished with page one. And you're gonna move on to the next page, which is the second slide. Okay, I'm gonna count down again from three to one. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. I think that's all for the photo session. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move on to our next session. And before we begin our second session of this workshop, we will have a short but exciting break by having an ice breaking session. Okay, so the ice breaking session will be a short quiz. Therefore, I would like to invite the committee in charge to share screen the quiz. Oh, yeah. Okay, for all the participants, please wait for a moment for the committee in charge to share screen the ice breaking session, which is going to be the short quiz. Fakultas Vokasi Universitas Erlangga merupakan fakultas ke-14 di Okay, I'm sorry if we have a trouble share screen the ice breaking because I think the committee in charge have a little problem with it. So I hope for all the participants could wait uh, maybe a bit longer or maybe wait for a moment. Okay, so here we are, as we can see on the screen, this is the for do ice breaking and we're gonna play what animals am I? Next slide. So in this occasion, let's play a game to refresh our minds, especially after we heard a lot from Mrs. Siti Mudaliana, which is very interesting. And um, you can join this quiz by commenting on the chat box. And I will also tell you the, uh, how to play and the simple rules of this game. So first, we will see slides of animals' pictures. And then second, we have to guess what kind of animals that we see. And as we know the answer, we can write down our answers on the chat box. So enjoy the game and good luck.
Okay, so the first picture, who am I? For anyone who perhaps might have guessed it, you can answer your, you can chat, um, you can answer it by typing and commenting on the chat box. Okay, I've seen a couple of answers on the chat box already. Oh, there is someone already answered with bird and there is also a dog. There is also a panda, cat, rabbit, chicken. You all already answered with so many guesses. And why don't we just fill the answer right away? Okay, let's fill the answer and I will count down. Three, two, one, okay. It's a blackbird. Congratulations for the participants that answered it correctly. And we will move on to the next question. Okay, so the second picture, let me give you a clue. This one is the king of the forest. Can anyone guess what it is? Oh, there are already someone who guessed. Gorilla, a giraffe, tiger, lion, elephant. I hope some of your guesses are right. Horse, dolphin. Okay, still so many upcoming answers. Okay, I think the cat one is the final answer. Can also lion. Why don't we just spill it? Why don't we just spill the answer? Okay, so I will count down. From three, two, one. Ta-da! Yes, you guys have the right answer. It's a gorilla. Or we could say a gorillion, which is gorilla and a lion. Okay, let's move on to the next picture. And now the third picture, I think this one is easier to answer, right? Especially in this game, you guys have to imagine and have big imagination because I think it's gonna be some strange answers also. are already some answer, which is duck, komodo, hippo, shark. There's also someone commenting a frog. Is it a frog? It could be. A lizard. Okay, why don't we just move right away to the answer because I bet all of you already so curious for the answer. Three, two, one. Right, I am a rhino. Okay, so there's someone answering with a rhino. Congratulations for you. You got it, you got the right answer. Okay, so move on to the next question. Next question is, what is this in this picture? Can you guess? At this point, basically the answer could be anything. So you just fill out every animals that you have in mind and type your answers.
Hey, fish, bird, crocodile. What else? Penguin. And then there's also um, a cat, crocodile. Okay, let's just fill the answer. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm a cool penguin. For anyone who already guessed it's a penguin, congratulations. Okay, and now let's move on to the next question. And this one is gonna be our last game or our last question. And I hope you get the right answer for this one because I think this one is really easy. Oh, there are people commenting owl, snake, hamster, bear, fish, seal, chicken. And maybe perhaps can some of you or one of you would like to turn on your microphone and maybe tell me why you answer with your answers. Maybe someone would like to turn on their microphones and tell me why they answer with bird, walrus, or seahorse. Um, and there's someone who answers with my ex. Wow. I think that's not um, in the list of animals, isn't it? Is there any more answers, perhaps? Okay, so let's just spill the answer because I think everyone is already so curious with the answer. Three, two, one. Yes, this is a cutie sleepy owl. So for those of you who already answered with owl, you guys are correct. Okay, so that is the last game of our... Uh, thank you, Miss Audrey. I think she's uh out of the Zoom. Maybe they uh she has some uh, uh connection problem. I uh, will take. Uh, is there is my voice clear? Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Miss Audrey. Hope you you will join us uh short in short time. Uh. And thank you for delivering the ice breaking, which is very interesting. I'm not sure how to answer all of those questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we continue to our uh, uh, second session for this uh, Refor Do webinar and workshop. I would like to invite uh, Mr. Pandu. Can I just call you Mas Pandu because I uh it's it's kind of weird call you Mr. Pandu. Yeah, it's okay, Pandu, yeah. Okay, it's okay Bu. Pa yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh I would like to read a short uh CV for Mr. Pandu for Mas Pandu. Mas Pandu 
committee can share the CV for Mas Pandu. Ah, okay. Very handsome guy. <laughs> so Mas Pandu is a alumni. She he's graduated from a pengobat tradisional traditional medicine study program, uh, and he's been focusing on herbal beverage or jamu. Uh, Ari for Mas Pandu is interesting in pick a back herbal beverage or jamu gendong a traditional and traditional treatment so uh, he's been work his work experience is in traditional remedies uh, he's a person in charge or herbal beverage classes and asuhan mandiri from the ministry of health program for home remedies very good and he's also an assistant researcher of sumenep royal herbal beverage in 2007 wow so based on his uh, short uh, introduction short curriculum vitae we already assure that he is very uh, <clears throat> expert in uh, jamu in her indonesian herbal beverage uh, so Today, we were very honored to have him as one of our speakers in this recorder session. Uh, I believe he will talk about uh, soaking spice soaking water. Uh, and he also want, uh, will share uh, the demonstration of how to making spice soaking water. Uh, okay. Uh, Mas Pandu, maybe I can directly give the session to you. Uh, time okay. is yours. Okay, thank you, Pimirna. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for having me. Today, I will explain to you how to make uh, Niram or Spice Waking Water. Uh, okay. okay, this is uh, my Rempa. Okay, next. Next, please. Uh, maybe I share my screen. Can it be as I share screen? Sendiri? Okay. Bisa saya share screen sendiri atau panitia yang share? Oke. Okay. Uh, maybe a committee can stop the share screen so Mr. Pandu can... Oh, is it okay? Okay. Uh, Mas Pandu, want to share share screen uh, by yourself? Oke, okay, yes. I think... Okay, mandi rempah. Bathing is the one of the body care treatment in every life cycle from a human born to their demise. Uh, bath or mandi rempah is one of the treatment in the spa. And uh, the spa treatment uh, will start with a body massage, rubbing the body with a scrub, and then follow with uh, mandi rempah. Uh, long time ago, mandi rempah is... Uh, became a one of the ritual for brides and grooms and then uh, before the wedding. But no day, no days, uh, so many people uh, use mandi rempah because, uh, because they, because due to uh, its benefits. The benefit of mandi rempah is uh, reduce your muscle and then uh, better sleep quality and relax your mind. Okay. Maybe you can full uh, screen it, Pandu. Full screen. Ini sudah full, Bu. Belum full. Belum muncul full screen ya. Oke. 
Udah full? Bentar, Bu. Uh, belum, belum. Ini masih tampilan PPT. Oke. Okay. Belum, belum full screen. Hmm. Udah? Udah? Full screen-nya belum muncul. Or, or, or maybe uh, can we go back to uh, uh, okay, committee ya? Yeah? Nah. Not yet slideshow. Uh -uh. Oke. Okay. Coba committee lagi. Oke, okay, uh, maybe we can use uh, this slide ya, Pandu. Oke, okay, oke, okay, oke. Okay. Once again, bathing is the one of the body care treatment. Uh, and then, uh, long time ago, mandi rempah is uh, one of the ritual of uh, brides and groom before marriage, uh, before wedding. And then, uh, mandi rempah is the one of uh, treatment before uh, in spa. Uh, start with mandi start with body massage and then rubbing the body with a scrub then follow with mandi rempah next okay indonesia indonesia is a multi multicultural country with a various body treatment in its region uh, the ministry of health and tourism have corporate uh, in wellness tourism program and have Fifteen wellness ethnomedicine will be promoted, such as uh, in Javanese, uh, we have a mangir and mandi rempah, and in Minangkabau, we have a mandi balimau and batangnya. Next. Okay. In ethnomedicine, uh, from Java, we have a philosophy ngadi saliro, which means uh, taking care of the body. Uh, taking care if the body is very human responsibility and we can taking care of the body from outside and inside from the it, from inside we can take a um, healthy diet fasting and drinking jamu and from the outside we can take a uh, rubbing the body with scrub uh, use uh, mandi rempah and herbal hair oil atau minyak cem ceman Okay, next. This is a mandi rempah, uh, and this is the common uh, herbs we use for mandi rempah. Uh, from the rhizome, we can use kunyit or turmeric, temulawak or java turmeric, and then lengkuas or galangal, kencur, uh, jahe or ginger, and the leaf. Common use is pandan, daun jeruk purut, daun dilem, kecauli, and kemuning, eh, serai, and sirih. And the spice we can use uh, cinnamon, fennel, uh, kapulaga, uh, star anis, uh, kayu masoi, and uh, cinten hitam. And the flower we can use uh, jasmine, rose, uh, tuberas. Rosa, uh, magnolia, and gilang-gilang. And the fourth fruits we can use uh, jeruk purut, uh, kafir lime, jeruk nipis, lime, and nang. Oke, okay, next. This is the original recipe from Yudia. Uh, she is my friend, and her family always use. Uh, the herbs for clear body before uh, fasting month or Ramadan. Uh, I will demonstrate to you about this recipe today. Okay, next. Okay, 
since the ethno medicine from me now uh, they have a philosophy alam takambang jadi guru which in also a humans learn from nature and then uh, they use the herb produce a unique fragrance to use uh, for various purpose for example for batange or bali and balimun mandi balimun okay next Batangeh is traditional sauna. Uh, traditional Minang women keep their bad beauty and health with batangeh spa or batangas. Uh, <clears throat> batangas is steam. Uh, the steam produced the, by the herbs can restore body freshness and treat rheumatoid arthritis, myalgia, and sinusitis. First, boil some water in pan. And next, put the herbs into the boiling water and wait for 10 to 20 minutes. Then, place the pan underneath a chair uh, inside a bamboo wall. After that, sit on the chair for 20 to 30 minutes. And the balimau, uh, usually uh, they use uh, the herbs to clean up the body before uh, Ramadan fasting month. Uh, the traditional balimos use a uh, limo or lime to cleanse the body. It's why it is called balimo. Balimo is lime in Minang, uh, Minang language. And before the baths, uh, they will pray and then shower the body with uh, water, lime, herbs, and flower. Next. This is the picture of uh, batange. Uh, we are sit in the chair inside the bamboo wall. And this is the common uh, herbs used for batangeh, uh, lemongrass, uh, pandan leaf, pachauli, kefir lime leaf, uh, star anise, cardamom, cinnamon, and fennel. And this is uh, the Balimo pictures. Uh, they will, uh, they will uh, take the Balimo uh, together in a river before uh, Ramadan or fasting month. And this is the common use herbs to mandi balimau. Next. Next. Oh, sorry. Okay, ada boleh saya share skill? Uh, ada yang Oke, okay. ada yang belum ditambahkan? Udah kelihatan belum, Mirna? Masih kelihatan ininya, apa uh, slide yang belum slide show? Sudah? Hmm. Nah, ya, saya, wait. Mm -hmm. eh. Advance. The advance PowerPoint virtual background. Oh, okay. okay. PowerPoint virtual background. Share screen advance PowerPoint virtual background. Maybe you can uh, try that, Pandu. Okay. Coba kamu tutup dulu itunya.
Oke. Okay. Nah, oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. 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 This is how to make a manpah or spices soaking water, and then this is the ingredients. We use all this herb in the kitchen: uh, jahe or ginger, angkuas al galangal, turmeric, uh, Java turmeric, pandan leaf, uh, kefir lime leaf, lime. Uh, kefir lime, or you can use uh, jeruk limau, or situs ambli karpa, and then you can use uh, sereh or lemongrass, ada or cardamom, uh, cinnamon, and cengkeh. And then how to make? You can prep first, uh, prepare the ingredients, and then wash and stir them, and then chop the rhizome and leaves. Uh, place the rhizome and leaf on the wet towel and up some add some spices and wrap the towel tight with a band and you can use how to use it uh, first you boil the water then place the towel in the, into the boiling water use low head and place the lid on the pan for and uh, placing the lid on the placing the lid on reduce the essential oil turning into vapor and then pour the wo boiling water into the bath then add cold and add cold water into the bath up and you can use her herbal wrap to scrub your body and or compress your body okay okay Finish and then uh, the committee please share the video how to make a mali rempah.
Okay, this is my my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mas Pando. That was very interesting. Yeah. Uh, now we uh, continue to our question and answer session. Uh, for all the participants, I would like to invite you to uh, uh, write it in chat box or you can raise your hand and we can ask that. I write it to uh, my Spandu. If you cannot uh, deliver it in English, you can write it in Bahasa, then I will try to translate it in English. Okay. Uh, my Spandu, yeah, that was very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Very interesting uh, <clears throat> uh, presentation and video. So uh -huh. uh, for mandi rempah, we can use fresh and dried ingredient. Yeah. We can yeah. mix it together. Oh, okay. okay. And hopefully, uh, uh, the benefit of each uh, ingredient can be uh, uh, mixed together to uh, apa, enhance the uh, health of our body. Okay, so now we have a question in the chat box. One question I see uh, from Niza. I see that one of the ingredients of bath or mandi rempah is turmeric or kunyit. So we know that yellowish color of the turmeric can be hard to be rinsed in our body, like it's attached so much to our body. So my question is, do you have any advice, maybe like some treatment that can be used to rinse off this yellowish of turmeric? Okay. okay. Yeah, Ma, Mas yeah. Pandu. <laughs> okay, bisa, thank you. Uh, turmeric, uh, gimana ya, Bu? ngomongnya bahasa Indonesia aja boleh nggak, Bu? Jadi saya lebih bisa yeah, menerangkan yeah, yeah. lebih jelas itu gitu. Oke. Okay. Jadi kalau okay, will, kalau kunyit itu. itu memang uh, kuningnya kan pekat, jadi uh, memang mm -hmm. tidak baik digunakan untuk uh, scrub atau uh, lulur. Itu jadi kalau lulur memang pakai uh, temu giring karena lebih mudah dibersihkan. Jadi kalau untuk digunakan dalam mandi rempah uh, kunyit itu uh, penggunaannya hanya sedikit saja, jadi tidak sampai warnanya kuning pekat. Terus kemudian, hmm. uh, jadi tidak meninggalkan bekas noda di kulit. Kalau memang hmm. terlanjur menggunakan kunyit untuk uh, apa lulur atau boreh, itu teman-teman hmm. bisa membersihkan uh, bekas kuningnya itu dengan membalurkan yogurt. Hmm. Gitu, Bu. Hmm. Yeah. Kalau untuk mengulangi okay. kunyit. Gitu. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so uh, yes, turmeric uh, has a yellowish color and if it's directly applied, to your skin, it will stay. Yeah, like when we're cooking, we use uh, fresh grated turmeric or if we uh, use uh, lulur or scrub, traditional scrub, lulur Jawa uh, or boreh bali that uh, has uh, lulur, uh, apa? grated fresh lulur for the ingredient and apply it directly to your skin, it will stay the color. But for mandi rempah, we only use small amount of uh, turmeric and it's uh, only, it's not grated, so it's like uh, thinly sliced and we dissolve it in quite a amount of water, yeah, pandu, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it, the, 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 the curcumin, the yellowish color did not really attach the skin directly. So it's not, it, it won't uh, make your skin uh, yellow as, as as yellow as if you use lulur or if you're cooking with turmeric yeah so uh, uh mas Pandu also suggested that if you have some problem with after using turmeric and you get a uh, yellow skin or your hand become yellow you can try to rinse it using yogurt yeah so use yogurt as like a, a hand soap yeah, hand soap yes. and uh, apply it in your skin, scrub it a little and wash it with water. Hopefully it will uh, help to uh, decoloring the yellow of turmeric in your skin. Okay? Yeah, I hope that's answered Thank the question, Anisa. Uh -uh. I hope that's answering the question. So to help uh, prevent the yellowish color, you can use yogurt. But for uh, just for mandi rempah, for soaking water, using turmeric, a small amount of turmeric dissolved in uh, hot or uh, warm water, uh, it won't stain that much. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, uh, we still are inviting for more question. Uh, while we, we wait, uh, I would like to ask again for uh, Mas Pandu. Uh, you mentioned the mandi rempah tradition from Jawa and Mina. Okay. Is there any more? Oh, hey, okay. Question from Dinda Nurul Islami. Uh, oh. In Indonesia, bertanya apakah boleh menggunakan bahasa Indonesia? Boleh. Saya mau bertanya untuk mandi rempah, secara pemakaian mandi rempah secara optimalnya dipakai berapa kali dalam seminggu dan untuk atau hanya diperlakukan untuk persiapan pernikahan. Oke, okay. so Dinda Nurul Islami, question. Uh, she wants to know how to... Uh, to get the optimal benefit of mandi rempah, how how to uh, use it correctly, like how frequent and how 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 the 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 uh, procedure protocol, uh, how to how how to do it uh, correctly, uh, how many times a week, and is it only a specific special occasion only like for a wedding preparation or can we use it even now if we're not uh, going uh, if we're not uh, married yet can we use it also i think that's the main question okay pandu okay, okay. uh you can use uh mandi rempah twice a month or uh, usually uh, uh the keraton family use for 40 days Gimana ya, Bu? 40 hari sekali tuh. Mm -hmm. Nah, oh uh, every 40 days. Iya, yeah, every 40 days and then uh, not only for grooms and brides before wedding, you can use uh, for daily uh, maybe uh, the winter it's so cold, cold you can use uh, mandi rempah. Mm, oke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that not, not only for a wedding preparation, but you can also use it uh, for a daily treatment. Well, not really daily, but uh, twice a month or once a month, or if it based on uh, the traditional uh, royal uh, remedies, uh, usually the, the royal family use it every 40 days, yeah. Yeah, 40 days. Mm, every 40 days and also if you feeling uh, a bit uh, not well a bit down a bit cool about uh, the weather condition is not good and your body feel uh, unwell you can also use it to warm up your body yeah yeah mm. yeah Okay, uh, Dinda, I hope it's answering the question. Jadi, uh, bisa dipakai seminggu, uh, satu bulan dua kali, atau satu bulan sekali, atau kalau mau ikut uh, caranya keraton, itu 40 hari sekali. Jadi, bisa bisa dipakai uh, seperti itu, atau kalau medan yang nggak enak, bisa, apa namanya? Uh, apa tadi? Bisa, bisa, bisa menghangatkan ya, bisa membantu ya, menghangatkan ya, saja. Menghangat. Oke, okay. ya, yeah, I hope it's answering the question, ya, yeah, Dinda. Oke, okay. so, thank you, Mas Pandu. You're welcome. Uh -uh. So, uh, the mandi rempah is not only for the beauty care, yeah. it also have a health benefit, ya? Yeah. Ya, yeah. Bu yeah, Mirna. Mm, Oke, okay. because... Uh, the i think the the herbs that you use that that mentioned in the ingredient also have many uh warm <clears throat> warm character uh -huh. uh, herbs that have warm character yeah yeah okay uh you said mandi rempah a recipe from jawa and minang is there any other uh Is there the most popular uh, area for mandi rempah or is there uh, every uh, ethnic in Indonesia has their own recipe? Uh, many uh, many ethnic in Indonesia have uh, their own recipe uh, but uh, the health ministry and the apa, apa tuh, uh, tourism ministry uh, mm -hmm. promote 15 uh, ethnomedicine uh mm. and i uh, and today i will explain just two 
uh, ethnomedicine from Minang and Jawa. But we can know uh, Batak have Okup, uh, Okup tradition, and it's like uh, Batangeh from Minang, but they have uh, the common local herbs they use, and then uh, we have a bore from Bali. Uh, they use uh, herbs for uh, body, apa? body after body scrap is body uh, like body wrap, yeah, bu. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like a body, body wrap, wrap using and, herbs, yeah. Yeah, body wrap using herb, herbs, and then uh, from but uh, Betawi. Uh, they have tangas, it's like mandi lempah. And then uh, from Banjar, we have batimung. Uh, batimung, it's like uh, mandi rempah juga. Gitu. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, next question from Mas Uliatin. Uh, she wants to know if there any side effect for sensitive skin from uh, taking a bath from Japanese or Minang, mandi rempah for sensitive skin. Ya, jadi uh, diperhatikan dulu sebelum menggunakan mandi rempah. Jadi mandi rempah memang uh, untuk beberapa orang uh, menimbulkan keruam dan gatal untuk uh, untuk yang alergi terhadap Uh, jahe terus kemudian hmm. alergi terhadap angkuas itu memang hmm. harus diperhatikan terutama penggunaan uh, untuk mandi balimau bu karena kan penggunaannya hmm. pakai air jeruk hmm. limau tuh nah itu kalau uh, kulitnya sensitif pasti dia akan merasakan gatal gitu hmm. ya yeah. oke okay. so uh, for sensitive skin we do need to be careful yeah uh, you know your own condition your skin condition if you have sensitive skin to so make sure uh you uh try or recheck it before you uh, directly use it uh for uh, people that have sensitive skin you maybe you need to uh be careful when using uh jahe atau ginger when using ginger or if you want to try the balimau from minang uh, it's also contain uh, citrus citrus usually sensitive also for uh, uh, can uh, uh, give us some allergic reaction for sensitive skin uh, for sensitive skin if you have some allergic reaction it can uh, apa, uh, your skin will become uh, itchy or you it it will uh, perform some rash in your skin and get uh, reddish uh, so you have to be careful when you're using for sensitive skin uh, can we just like omit some of the uh, 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 ingredient if we know that we are sensitive to, to some uh, kind of ingredient or is it have to be like the exact uh, recipe Pandu. Okay, you can use uh, uh, daun pandan, serai, mm -hmm. and kafir mm -hmm. lime leaf, and then you mm -hmm. can put a uh, flower like rose, uh, sedap malam, and jasmine. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that that's I, I think that's more uh, uh, apa, tolerate, tolerate yeah for yes. sensitive skin yeah kafir kafir leaf not not, not the, the fruit. not the fruit yeah. Yeah, not the fruit. The fruit will be more uh, irritable. Okay, so that's one of the uh, uh, recipe, the alternative recipe that you can use for your uh, skin condition. For instance, uh, for uh, people that have sensitive skin, you can also enjoy mandi rempah by uh, uh, using the ingredient that's already mentioned by Mas Pandu. Okay, so uh, I have direct message message direct question from arzilla emilia uh, she wants to know uh, for this mandi rempah is it better to use before or after we use soap yeah and okay. also uh, for this mandi rempah how many times can we use or is it only Uh, use it once or we can use it again uh, like uh, two or three more times thank you okay okay kalau untuk cara pakainya itu ada dua uh, pendapat gitu yang pertama mm -hmm. boleh dipakai sebelum mandi 
Jadi untuk membuka mm-hmm. pori-pori, jadi setelah mm-hmm. di, mereka melakukan mandi rempah berupa saun, seperti sauna atau batangnya itu tadi, uh, mereka dipersiapkan untuk pijat. Nah setelah pijat, lulur, dan um, pakai boreh, baru mereka mm-hmm. mandi seperti biasa. Tapi ada juga yang mm-hmm. melakukan dipijat terlebih dahulu, mm-hmm. kemudian dilulur, uh, mm-hmm. diboreh, baru kemudian melakukan mandi rempah untuk berendam. Jadi kalau untuk sauna, Biasanya digunakan mm-hmm. waktu awal, tapi kalau untuk mm-hmm. uh, berendam, biasanya mereka gunakan waktu akhir. Mm, Oke, okay. so uh, mandi rempah, uh, you can use, uh, there are two opinion. Yeah. If you want to use mandi rempah as a sauna, as a steam bath, you can use it before you're taking a shower, you're taking a bath with soap. Uh, for sauna, you take it before uh, soap. But if you want to use it as a soaking water, soaking bath, uh, usually after you have a uh, whole body massage or you have you or you after you get a whole body spa or whole body treatment with lulur, boreh, and massage, you can use uh, mandi rempa as a soaking water to help cleanse the uh, Remen, remen of the lulur and uh, boreh or and massage. Uh, then after that, you use it uh, after after taking uh, after using soap. Yeah, hmm. after using soap. So uh, depend on 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 the occasion. Depend on what you need. Do you want it uh, to use it as a spa, as a steam bath, or as a directly soaking water? Okay. Uh, and also, uh, can you? Can we use it only once, or can we use the 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 herb pouch uh, repeatedly? Only one. Only one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's better to use it only once. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that's uh, answering the question. Yeah, Arzila. Okay. Thank you so much for the question. Uh, maybe. I think it's maybe one more question. If uh, there is another question from the audience, if not, uh, uh, I think we come to the end of our session. Yeah. Uh, okay, Pandu, thank you very much for the very interesting uh, presentation and uh, sharing us uh, your video on how making mandi rem- apa, herbs for mandi rempah ya. Hopefully it will uh, in uh, add more uh, knowledge for uh, us and for the participant that we uh, not only uh, using the modern uh, what nowadays uh, people usually you try to buy some bath bomb or something that has a beautiful coloring that we don't know what type of coloring that they use you can uh, choose the more uh, natural way by using uh, herbs that we have uh, from uh, our environment uh, to uh, uh, to take mandi rempah and uh, it also has benefit for your skin uh, condition and also for your health Thank you so much, Ma, Mas Pandu, for you, uh, the time. And I think, uh, do we connect it again with the uh, my Master of Ceremony? Hello, Miss Audrey. Welcome back. Uh, now uh, we've come to the end of the session and I will return it to the Master of Ceremony. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Mirna, for hosting our second workshop session. And I also want to say um, um, my apology for the previous um, inconvenience. So today and right now, I want to give reminder also to all of the participants. Don't forget to fill out the attendance form sent by the committee on the chat box. Thank you so much. And before we move on, we will have another moment of appreciation, and this time with our second speaker, Mr. Pandu Hadiwinata. Therefore, I would like to invite Mrs. Edith Frederica once again to appear on screen to virtually but officially give the certificate of appreciation to our speaker. Mrs. Edith Frederica, the time and place is yours. Hey, uh, thank you very much, uh, Master of Ceremony. 
Mas Pandu, how are you? Fine, ready. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you here. It's been quite a long time. Uh, we would like to express our uh, gratitude uh, on behalf of uh, a traditional medicine study program. We would like to give this uh, certificate, virtual certificate. Uh, thank you very much for your um, time and for your partici participation to become one of the keynote speaker for today's session. So hopefully uh, we can still meet up once again for the next future. Thank you, Bu Edi. I think Bu Edi has some uh, problem with connection, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mas Pandu. Back thank to Mas Ceremony. Hey, I think Mrs. Edi has some um, connection problem. So thank you so much, Mr. Pandu, and thank you so much for Mrs. Mirna for taking over. And for all participants, now please kindly Turn on your camera because we will do a photo session and this time with Mr. Sandy Hadiunata. And this photo session will be captured by our documentation division through screenshots. So please, for all the participants who haven't turned on their camera, please do turn on right now. Okay, and I think the documentation division is ready. Okay, I will start the countdown and I will start in three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much. And now we're moving on to the next slide which is the second slide. Okay, for any of you who haven't turned on the camera, please do turn on the camera and we will capture this lovely event together. Okay, so I will count down. In three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much for your participation and for any of you who have been turning on their camera. And ladies and gentlemen, finally we come to an end of this event. And we would like to say thank you to all the honorable speakers for the great presentation and information. And it is such a pleasure to have you with us. And thank you to the honorable guests, moderators, lecturers, comedy, and all participants for joining us today. I hope from this workshop, um, we could get so much knowledge, information, and benefits. And that's all for now. See you next week on Saturday, June 18, on another episode of our webinar, Reforgu. And don't forget to attend all the series of our webinar so that you can be granted a certificate of participation. I also want to remind all the participants to not forget and to fill out uh, the attendance form before you leave the room. The attendance form will be sent by our committee on the chat box. Okay, once again, thank you so much for your kind attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye, everyone. Fakultas Vokasi Universitas Erlangga merupakan fakultas ke-14 di Universitas Erlangga sebagai perwujudan untuk menyelenggarakan pendidikan tinggi jenis pendidikan akademik, profesi, dan vokasi. Pendidikan vokasi menyiapkan mahasiswa menjadi profesional dengan keterampilan kemampuan kerja yang tinggi. Vokasi UNAIR hadir dalam sejumlah departemen, di antaranya Departemen Kesehatan, meliputi D3 Teknik Gigi, D3 pengobat tradisional, D3 paramedik veteriner, D3 teknologi laboratorium medis, D3 keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, D3 keperawatan, 
D4 pengobat tradisional, D4 fisioterapi, dan D4 teknologi radiologi pencitraan. Sementara di Departemen Bisnis, vokasi menyediakan program studi D3 akuntansi, D3 bahasa Inggris, D3 kepariwisataan bina wisata, D3 manajemen pemasaran, D3 manajemen perbankan, D3 manajemen perhotelan, D3 administrasi perkantoran, D3 perpajakan. Dan terakhir di Departemen Teknik, Fakultas Vokasi UNAIR menyediakan prodi D3 otomasi sistem instrumentasi, D3 sistem informasi, D3 perpustaka. Semua program studi telah memiliki akreditasi Badan Akreditasi Nasional Perguruan Tinggi atau Lembaga Akreditasi Mandiri Pendidikan Tinggi Kesehatan Indonesia dengan 13 program studi akreditasi A dan 8 program studi akreditasi B. Selamat datang di Fakultas Vokasi Universitas Nelangga. Fakultas yang ke-14 di Universitas Nelangga yang berkomitmen mencetak generasi terampil di bidang kesehatan, bisnis, dan teknik. Untuk mencetak tenaga kerja yang terampil di bidang kesehatan, bisnis, dan teknik tersebut, Fakultas Vokasi membuat suatu kurikulum di mana kurikulum semua program studi adalah 40% teori, 60% praktek. Praktek banyak dilakukan di berbagai industri yang ada di Indonesia, bahkan di luar negeri. Dengan praktek yang di berbagai macam industri, dunia kerja, dan dunia usaha, ini akan menunjukkan bahwasanya mahasiswa fakultas vokasi nanti benar-benar mempunyai pengalaman, mempunyai kompetensi yang langsung dimiliki karena mereka langsung ada di dunia kerja dan industri. Di sisi yang lain, fakultas vokasi mengadakan berbagai macam tempat, berbagai macam sarana-prasarana yang ada di Universitas Erlangga. Sarana-prasarana itu diantaranya adalah ada rumah sakit Universitas Erlangga, ada Institut Tropical Disease, ada berbagai macam seperti gedung kuliah bersama yang ada di kampus A, ada di kampus B, maupun ada di kampus C. Semuanya ini adalah upaya untuk menunjang, untuk membuat fakultas vokasi dalam mencetak generasi tenaga kerja yang terampil untuk di masyarakat. Fakultas vokasi berada di kampus B Unair dengan menyediakan sarana untuk kelancaran proses pendidikan. Laboratorium terpadu. Laboratorium ini menyediakan laboratorium perkantoran, laboratorium retail, laboratorium perbankan, dan laboratorium robotika. Ada juga laboratorium komputer, ruang dosen, ruang pertemuan, serta sarana pendukung seperti perpustakaan, lembaga penyakit tropik, laboratorium stem cell. Tidak heran kalau dukungan dalam pendidikan yang baik menciptakan keragaman capaian bagi mahasiswa dan dosen. Karya kolaborasi antar peneliti menghasilkan dento laser biomodulasi, alat elektrostimulator dalam terapi akupunktur. Kreativitas mahasiswa terasa dengan menghasilkan prototipe robotika di bidang sistem informasi, bidang bisnis, dan kesehatan. Dalam praktik penyelenggaraan pendidikan yang bermutu, Fakultas Vokasi kini menjalin komitmen bersama puluhan lembaga, industri, perguruan tinggi, dan pemerintahan yang menciptakan sinergi dalam mencapai tujuan ilmu pengetahuan dan ketampilan. Menggu Vokasi. Vokasi, Pak. Menguat. Ingin cepat bekerja, kuliahlah di Fakultas Vokasi.
Perjalanan membawamu Bertemu denganku Ku bertemu kamu Sepertimu yang ku cari Konon aku juga Seperti yang kau cari Ku kira kita asam dan garam Dan kita bertemu di belanda Kisah yang ternyata tak seindah itu Ku kira kita akan bersama Begitu banyak yang sama Latarmu dan latarku Kukira takkan ada kendala Kukira ini kan mudah Kau aku jadi kita Kasih sayangmu membekas Redam kini sudah Bijar istimewa Entah apa maksud dunia Tentang ujung cerita Kita tak bersama Semoga rindu ini menghilang Konon katanya waktu sembuhkan Akan ada lagi yang sepertimu Sama, begitu banyak yang sama Latarmu dan latarku Kukira takkan ada kendala Kukira ini kan mudah Kau aku jadi kita Kau melanjutkan perjalananmu Lanjutkan perjalanan Kita akan bersama Hati-hati di jalan Pertama di hidupku Manusia lain memelukku Lembaran foto hitam putih Aku coba ingat lagi Wangi rumah di sore itu Kue coklat balon menawani Pesta hari ulang tahun Kalian berada Ku kirimkan terima kasih Untuk 